Hi, my name is Brian Haley. I'm with CAD1, an Autodesk value-added reseller and an award-winning training center in Denver, Colorado. And today I'm going to teach you how to take a shape file that has contour data in it and make it into a surface. So the first thing I want to talk about is bringing that data in. So I want to see the shape file here in my drawing. Um, it's really quite simple to do. All you have to do is find the shapefile, that .shp file, and drag it into your drawing, and you can see the shapefile. Now, this is an FDO connection. These are not AutoCAD objects yet, but uh, it at least gives us an idea. I also have a area of interest where I'm interested in my particular project. And so that's the area that I want to create my surface for. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go create the surface. So on the Home tab, Surfaces, I'm going to choose the Create Surface from GIS data. Pretty simple process, walk your way through it. So the type of object, surface, give it a nice name. So GIS data or something along those lines. A style, uh, I recommend that you use a style that doesn't display a lot of data because typically with GIS data you're going to have a ton of points in here and the fewer pieces that you display, the better your drawing will perform. So I'm going to use a contours 5 foot and 25 foot design. All right, just step our way through it. The data, so this is going to be a shape file. So I'm then going to connect to the shape file. And then you have to log in. I'm not sure why you have to do that part, but you do. Here's all the data that I can then connect to. I want to connect to the county contours. Where do I want to create the surface for? So I'm going to do a window area. So I'll go ahead and select that. And this is one of the reasons I brought this in. So I can simply snap to my rectangle. The query type. In this case, I definitely want to do a crossing. I don't want to just bring in just the data that's inside of it. If it crosses the boundary, I also want to use that. And then the data mapping. This is the important part. What piece of data from that shape file represents the elevations of the contours? So in this case, contour ELE. So I want to map that to the elevation for the Civil 3D property. Go ahead and finish that. It brings those contours into my drawing, creates a surface from them, and there is my surface. Now, a couple of things we have to be aware of. Let me go ahead and zoom down into this corner down here. If you'll notice, it doesn't do a real good job. So if I were to change the surface style to display my triangles, what you'll notice is it didn't use all of the data points on my contours. It skipped all of these points through here. Another thing I want you to notice is it didn't do a very good job with the contour. So I have a, a data contour here, and I have a, a data contour here, and you'll notice it's not very good between them. It, it, these contours really should be coming up here. And the reason it's doing this is because when it does the minimize flat areas, it does not do the swapping edges options, which it should be doing. So these are some of the limitations. Now, in a lot of cases, this is good enough. And it's really simple to do, and just go out and do it really simple. If you need better data than this, if you want to get these contours coming up into these draws or these um, spurs, then you're going to have to use a different technique, which I will show you in another video. But this is how you can do it. And the nice thing about this, though, it's quick, it's easy, it at least gets you something to start with.